Yeah, that's a Chinook Arch down there. Warm weather, on the way. Well, at least when you see a Chinook Arch, you assume the warm weather's on the way, but in this case, um, it was taking its time. The Chinook wind was just starting to blow here by Harrington, and these muleys were looking for some place low to get out of it. Down at Clear Lake, east of Staveley, it was really picking up and blowing the loose snow all over the place. Finger drifts were starting to form on the roads, and they made driving a little bit tough. Not too bad, though. For the moment, they were just soft little speed bumps. Following the line of the Chinook Arch to the south, I ended up east of Granham, and here, the wind was really screaming. I was just about even with head smashed in at the end of the Porcupine Hills, and without those hills in the way, the wind was even stronger. These geese have been feeding in a field and they took off when I stopped. The wind was so strong they were nearly hovering as they tried to fly against it. These cattle, stoic as always, just let the snow blow around them. Over at Keo Lake, there was nothing to slow down the wind and it picked up the loose snow laying on the ice and piled it up in drifts along the shore. But at least it was just a little bit warmer. The wind kind of tore away whatever warmth there was, but I could still feel it. I could still feel the temperature rising. But it was still a couple days short of the winter solstice and the day was nearly done. Whatever warmth the day had gained was going to be lost to the night. Not that it mattered to this snowy owl. You know, these guys really don't care what the weather is. Chinooks are one of the best things about living in our part of the world. And I'd sure rather have a cold one than none at all. Happy holidays, everybody.